Hi Aquarius, welcome to your new love read. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Aquarius, this can be reversed if you're cross-watching. If you're interested in an Aquarius, it may resonate. I'm tapping into an energy of the next, your next lover here, Aquarius. Next romantic partner. For the time period of November and December, it is for my singles, of course, but my curious are always welcome. So Aquarius, let's see who is coming in for my Aquarius. Oh, I'm going to take both of those. And one more here. Who is coming in for my Aquarius? Please, Spirit. Aquarius's next lover. Aquarius's next lover, please, Spirit. And I'll take those two as well. You get a bonus card there lovely let's get some traditional tarot down how will you receive this person when they come into your life how you how will you receive this person how will my Aquarius receive this person when they come into their life please spirit okay and how will this person be when they come into your life what kind of energy will they be in when they come into your life and the outcome between the two of you what's likely to occur all right let's take a look the king of wands so we have uh, fire sign energy male or female not a gender specific read it is a uh, a general read here for many different people king of wands leo aries sag Aterius. <laughs> yeah. Um, now this is leadership. This is the strong silent type. This is a man of action or a woman of action. This is somebody who enjoys love, life, pleasure. This is somebody who just enjoys, I'm getting a sense here of, uh, I'm here for, I'm here to fully experience life. The fool, yeah, fully experiencing life. I feel that this person has a new lease on life. I get for some of them, they may have actually uh, suffered some kind of, uh, uh, in the recent past some kind of health or perhaps even an injury that caused them to be to have some an epiphany of sorts about their life turning their life around and i get them starting fresh starting over with this fool like energy we do have a lot of aries here knight of wands my goodness yes this person is full of uh, full of determination full of excitement for what comes next there's a lot of optimism here this person may be traveling or wanting to travel they may have a, a, a dog uh, getting a small dog in particular this person wants to, to travel light they don't uh, they want to leave behind old patterns old ways old beliefs and uh, they want to go forward with uh, with passion with enthusiasm uh, this person wants to experience uh, all that life has to offer and the page of swords and this there's going to be communication here i do feel that there is going to be either a reaching out uh, via social media text there is going to be some communication so this this person has a lot of attraction towards you aquarius or vice versa if, if you're watching for an aquarius how you'll be wow queen of wands so aquarius you're showing up as this person's equal wow power couple alert soulmate alert twin flame alert even i'm getting that because there's a lot of wand energy here so i can't help but feel that this is a this is a flame a flame that burns oh a passion that burns sexy connection here guys sexy king of pentacles could be an earth sign that we're talking about uh, earth earth and fire in the mix here so we've got uh, on the board we've got strong leo we've got strong sagittarius strong aries and we also have earth taurus virgo capricorn here as well the outcome here is the knight of pentacles 
So this this has legs, even though it's got a lot of passion to begin with. And I do feel that once the two of you meet here, it's like the chemistry is off the charts. My God, Aquarius, like the two of you just uh, ignite each other. Uh, sexually, I feel that the two of you are going to be extremely compatible and um, certainly are going to explore many aspects of, of, of yourselves in, in that way. I get you also wanting to, to travel together. I get um, sexy times in, in uh, very sexy locations. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But it has legs. It has, um, it has uh, the ability to actually become a long-standing um, thing. Um, will it lead to marriage? I'm not sure, guys, uh, but I, I do feel that this is going to be a partnership that's going to last for a long period of time. In whatever capacity the two of you want to uh, want to have a connection together, because I, I just get this energy of the two of you being um, in a freedom freedom energy. Um, not not that you're going to go, you know, sharing yourselves around to other people. No, it's not that. It's just that you allow each other personal freedom, personal space. Uh, like you'll take trips together and then you may separate and take trips alone, but then come back together. It's a healthy, a healthy kind of energy that I'm picking up. A healthy connection. It's not a clingy connection. It's not a an energy here of one taking from another. No, it's, it's very, very much a mutually beneficial connection, especially when it comes to the passion that the two of you share for life and love and um, sexual energy. I can't escape that. Now, let's see. What else you need to know about this person, Aquarius? Loving this energy between the two of you. This is a connection that's that's uh, definitely has been destined. Someone is a business owner. Okay. Or may have recently started a business. I'm getting that. Strong Earth. Yeah. Now, Earth rules the root chakra. They can be rather rigid. And I do feel that this person may have been rigid in the past, but uh, certainly not anymore. This person, I feel, is, is wanting to leave that uh, rigidity behind. I get them being a lot more open. A lot more receptive to changes in their life. This person could be someone that you know, it could be a friend, someone perhaps that you've known before and perhaps in a past life connection as well for some of my Aquarius out there. What else do you need to know about this person? Relaxed, okay. Rela I'm getting relaxed. It's, it, this is meant to be Relax. This is meant to be, you know, it's a very relaxed connection. Like the two of you won't have to feel stressed in each other's company. It's just a very easy connection. Easy. It will flow easily. Things will flow easily between the two of you. And we have uh, daddy's girl here. This person may be a father. They may have a daughter or more than one, uh, more than one daughter. Uh, or they just have a, or could, if you're a feminine energy here, you may have a connection uh, with a, uh, a strong father. For some of you, you are your, your father's daughter, whatever that means to you. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull a card here and see what that energy is specifically. Because I've got you here as this Queen of Wands energy. And I do feel that you, you may you may look very similar to your father or you have some kind of uh, uh, characteristics of your father. Something there that I'm picking up there, Aquarius. Lady Gaga. Ooh, yeah. Turning bad romance into good business. Okay, some of you may work, may work in... Uh, uh, in, in a, a business, uh, you may be a business owner that, uh, that works with um, perhaps... Uh, counseling. Uh, some of you could be actually working in the, in the romance field, or well, whatever that means to you. I feel that you have a lot of contradictions. You, you're a very interesting person, Aquarius. And for some of you, you are a star. You know, with that Queen of Wands energy, you know, Lady Gaga stands out. You know, she's not afraid to be different. She's a person who is a rather out there with her fashion sense. 
Uh, some of you may be people who enjoy fashion. Uh, some of you are people who just enjoy being different than, than others. And I think that that's what really attracts this person to you, Aquarius. And your father may have been quite similar. For some of you, your father was an Aquarius. Uh, that's just for some of you. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I'm going to pull some physical. No, no, rather, let's get some uh, personality characteristics first before we go on to the physical characteristics. Personality characteristics of this person that's coming in for Aquarius spirits. Storyteller, that could be a, a writer, or oh, could enjoy reading, uh, expressing life through stories. Okay. And I get that this person has a lot of stories to tell. You'll be able to share. You get coming together here and sharing stories uh, about your lives, talking about your lives, interesting lives. You both probably have led quite interesting lives. And I'm also getting Queen. Now this is uh, the feminine, regal feminine energy. Beautiful. Queen, well, yeah, Queen of Wands. Lady Gaga again. You know, you do have this queen, if, if you're the feminine here and resonating as that, Aquarius, you do have this very regal energy about you, but you also have this side of yourself that is keeps it real. Like you, you experienced a lot in your life. Now, when we think about queens, we think of people who are in their tower, uh, who are very protected, very isolated, maybe even sheltered existence. That's not you. No, you've experienced a lot in your life. So you have this kind of queen-like energy or regal-like energy, but you're real. You're real. Yeah. And I think that that's something that pe once people get to know you, uh, they see the real you beneath the, the facade here of this this queen of wands now let's get some physical characteristics what does this person look like physical characteristics some of this will be you some of it will be them you'll know of course aquarius what does this person look like that's coming in for aquarius someone here could be balding because we normally associate that with the masculine. Someone could be, uh, could be a witch, of course, but it doesn't have to be. Someone who could just enjoy Halloween, uh, enjoy uh, more of the, um, uh, the more esoteric, maybe even a cult. Uh, doesn't have to be that strong. Just could be a passing interest, or they may even identify as uh, as a witch. Someone here has hazel eyes. Perhaps you both do. Someone has a tooth gap. Um, someone could have a beauty mark or a mole. Um, average build. Slim, but av average, I would say. Uh, okay, someone could be white. Someone could be American or um, have some kind of connection with North America. Could be Canada, could be the USA, could even be Mexico, guys. And someone has mixed colored eyes. Uh, someone could have a skin condition, could be anything. Now the mixed coloured eyes, it, it may just be that the, the light, the way the light plays on the eyes, they may appear, they may appear green, they may appear hazel. Hazel tends to change colour. And someone could be wearing black clothing when you meet. One person here is tall, the other is average. And someone could be sporting a beard or facial hair. How else will you know this person, Aquarius, when they come in? How else will you know this person? Physically active. Can speak more than one language fluently. As there's a lot of vowels in their name. May be late or they may be late to this to this meetup or this date that you have this connection or they may be late later in life a later in life connection has a noticeable facial feature could be this facial beard for some of you 
and they may enjoy singing in the shower okay all right <laughs> i'll leave that one to your imagination guys what i'm getting for that and uh, let's see what else do you need to know about this connection what else does aquarius need to know about this connection spirit oh yeah i get this person wanting to come in it, it, it's uh, they're going to be one because you're in this very queen like energy you're going to have multiple options this is one of them so it's your choice i feel this one seems like it's going to be a great option for you but i don't feel that they're the only one that's coming in aquarius i'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my etsy store the link is down below and you can purchase directly there Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button. Share me on your social media, especially if you know an Aquarius who would enjoy this reading. And if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe, guys. If you'd like to press that uh, notification bell, you'll get updates of when I, whenever I post. And of course, guys, don't forget to leave me a comment down below, especially if you're enjoying these new love readings. Thank you, Aquarius. Please take care and bye for now.